Having created a GitHub repository and then cloning that repository to your local machine, now is the time to add a new file and then move it to the remote repository. In VS Code, create a new file, name it index.html. Notice that everything is lowercase. Index is a default name that we use when creating a file that we want the server to deliver automatically if the actual name of the page is not specified in the URL. In your file, write the code as shown in the video. The same code is shown below the video if that is easier. Once the page is done, save the file. In VS Code, you'll notice that the third icon on the left, a stylized Y, should have a 1 shown on it. Click the icon. This is the GitHub icon. It shows the number of files that have changed since the last GitHub update. Having clicked the icon, you should see the index.html file. If you hover over it, a few icons should appear on the right. Click the plus sign. If you hover over it, you'll see a tooltip that says Stage Changes. This is the equivalent of saying Ready if you're getting ready to run a race. A new Stage Changes heading appears and the index.html page is shown below it. Click in the text box at the top of the panel and type a comment that describes what is happening, such as initial upload. Later on, if you edit something, you will describe the change. Adding a comment is required for each upload. After typing the comment, click the check mark above it or press Control plus Enter on Windows or Command plus Enter on Mac. This commits the file. It is the equivalent of saying set if you're ready to run a race. Finally, at the bottom of the window, click the button with a one and an up arrow on it, or click the ellipse to the right of the check mark and select push. This is the equivalent of saying go if you are running a race. If your GitHub username and password have not been stored in your computer, you'll be asked to provide them, one at a time, in a text box at the top of the window, followed by hitting the Enter key. When done, the 1 at the bottom of the window will revert to a 0. At this point, you will want to check that the file is available on your remote site. By the way, get in the habit of testing that the upload worked every time you upload a file. Open a browser. In the address bar, enter your GitHub repository URL. For example, yourname.github.io. Hit Enter. Since your file was named index.html, the page should be delivered automatically. If everything worked, pat yourself on the back. If not, get some help until it does.